dear viewers. Today we're back with another episode of Julia vs. the Abstract Concept of Cooking. So, uh, after my humiliating defeat at the hands of churros, uh, we're gonna be trying some garlic cheesy bread, which I've never made before. So, uh, let's see how it goes. Here we go! First, we're gonna need some bread, butter, Parsley, mozzarella cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, and parmesan cheese. Oh wait, one more thing, wait. Garlic! I almost forgot the garlic for the garlic bread. Oh boy. Alright, here we go! Alright, uh, first things first, we have to cut up this parsley. So that it's smaller and won't choke us all to death. So, um, wait, I need a knife. Hold on. Alright. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Got a knife. Uh, here we go. Okay, so I've switched to just sort of tearing the pieces up because I don't think I know how to use this properly. It's not going well. I think tearing is a little more my speed. Alright, and that's the parsley done. Now, on to the garlic. Alright, uh, here is my thing of garlic. It says I need six cloves, which I think are the little things inside. I've never peeled a, a garlic before, so let's see how this goes. All right, we got one clove, two cloves, three cloves, four cloves, five cloves, finally six cloves. Now, I will just say one thing if you're planning on doing this. Maybe have a plan for all of this mess instead of just putting it on the counter. So I'm going to clean this up and we'll move on to step three. Yeah, three. All right. uh, I think I should probably chop these up. So, just one moment. Yeah, there we go. It's a little chunky, but I think it'll do. It literally took me like 45 minutes, and then Disembodied Mom walked in the door, and I said, ta-da, look, Disembodied Mom, I've made some garlic smaller. And she kind of looked at me like, it looks great. Oh boy, all right, here we go. Oh, also, P.S. Garlic is super sticky, so if you're ever cutting garlic, be prepared for stickiness. All right, for the butter spread, we will need a half cup of butter, six cloves of garlic, and a tablespoon of parsley. Now for the mixing. That looks good. All right, now it's time to put this horrible buttery concoction on some bread. Now, uh, the recipe said French bread, but I didn't know precisely what that meant, so baguettes seemed a little bit small. I did find a loaf that said French peasant bread, so that's what I bought. Here we go. I took all the cheese that I had and I put it in this bowl and I mixed it up. So now we're going to put it on the bread. Next you're going to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, which I was supposed to do earlier, but I forgot. So now we have to wait. Alright, now they're in the oven. And we just have to wait for about 10 minutes until they're all golden brown. Oh, 
Justin. Hail and well met, sister. <laughs> would you uh, would you be a representative of the abstract concept of cooking today? As you know, I represent all abstract concepts. That must take a while. Disembodied mom, are you eating the food? Mm. You, you ate it too quickly, disembodied mother! I wasn't done with the intro! How could right. you? Whatever. Alright, here, have yours. Mmm. Mmm. Good. It's pretty delicious. Dude, what do you think, disembodied mom? Quite good. I'm a little torn over whether to consider this garlic bread, because bread, I would consider it bread with garlic. It's not like infused into the bread. Yes, but it I, is. I'm quite certain that it is infused into the bread. And I it taste is, no garlic on the bottom. You don't taste any garlic? Keep eating. <laughs> no, don't lick it. I said on the bottom. I put it in the butter. Yes, alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. They saw me do it. Mmm. Uh -huh. This is really delicious. I'm gonna give myself an A plus. That's just me. I will give you an A minus. Mm hmm. What do you think, disembodied mom? She's giving a disembodied thumbs up. All right, take that, the abstract concept of cooking. Hi. I've made a comeback. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, should we do the end screen now? Okay. Ready? One, two, three. End screen. End screen. Uh, you're always a second late. <laughs> we like to redo the end screen. Yeah, let's redo it. Ready? One, two, three. End, end screen. screen. <laughs> I was second early that time. <laughs>